So you want to paint the sunset. Well, start with yellow and white and do a line right down the middle of your canvas where the horizon would be. Do that a couple times so it gets a little thicker and without washing your brush, I'm a little rebel, do some orange moving up the canvas. Now when you do this, there's always this crisp line, but you don't want your sky to look like it's an American flag. So go back in with some yellow, not washing your brush, and go over that line. It will disappear and blend into the sky. Look how pretty. Then I'm still not washing my brush. I'm taking some pink and moving up the canvas. Make sure to blend a little bit. Pink and orange and sunsets always really go together. Go back with some orange and blend, blend, blend. Then I'm going in with purple, still not washing my brush. And it's also helpful to do this while the paint is still wet because that will also help it blend. I went back in with a little bit more pink and orange to blend that purple. I was feeling some navy, so navy and baby blue at the very top because as the sun sets, the sky does get like a darker blue at the top. Don't forget to blend. There's a sunset. Now, I can't paint a perfect circle, so I use something called a pouncer or a spouncer. It's just a round sponge on a brush. And I make an omelet sun, I call it, because I use bright yellow, a golden yellow, and white. Look at that, it is beautiful. Perfect little egg sun. I'm going to just smush it like a stamp, pull up. <gasps> perfect. That is how you paint a sunset. Now let's make it interesting. I'm going in with a bigger mop brush and my green blue and bright blue all the way down. Let's turn this into a lake scene, just like that. I'm taking a little bit of white. You don't wanna forget a little bit of a reflection from the sun and the sky. And then here's a fan brush. Now here's a trick to do trees off in your horizon. I'm turning it sideways and just tapping up and down very lightly. This is going to give you the look of trees in the distance. The lighter you press, the littler the trees will be. Don't forget to go in front of your pretty sun because it's behind the trees. And then if you get a big blob of green, use a toothpick. You can scratch up into the trees. Look how that lifts up the paint. You can see the sky behind it. And that also gives the look of tree trunks in the distance as well. Just a neat little trick. Now it is dark, so I'm going to use black for my horizon line. We have to plant the bases of our trees in the ground. So pretend you're at the lake, you're looking at the other side, and there is kind of land there. I'm going back in with some of my blue from the water to blend that in a little bit, just back and forth. And then last touch, you do want a reflection from the sun, so I'm using an actual paintbrush, not a makeup brush. Just a small round with some of the yellow from my sun, doing a couple horizontal lines in the water underneath. And there you go, there is a very beginner sunset. I actually teach this one quite often in my classes. I have different variations, like for example, here's one with birds and grass and wildflowers. And every time I do them, they turn out a little bit different. See, here's another variation. I call them all sister paintings because each time I do the class, I get a different painting and no two are exactly the same. Let me know what else you wanna learn how to paint.